<clears throat> Hello there, it's Karen here from Stamping with Karen Spreckley and I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Um, I thought I'd pop on and show a technique of a card that we made in my card classes earlier this month. So that's, well we're still April aren't we, that's right. Um, and I'm going to decorate the stamp with the Rooted in Nature stamp set. Now this has been in our annual catalogue since last June absolutely beautiful set but I've actually only recently added it to my collection um, so I'm going to have a little play with this today so I'm going to do something called a gatefold explosion card so there's going to be some cutting and measuring involved um, but please bear with me it's honestly not as complicated as it looks so I'll just move the stamp set out of the way and I'm going to pull over my trimmer and also a bone folder so that I can do some scoring. Now for this card it's two very simple measurements. You need a piece of paper that is five and a half inches by 11 inches so I'm just going to trim this down now so that's five and a half inches by 11 inches and I'm going to score it at two and three quarter inches. I'm just going to check my measurements now. I think it's two and three quarter inches from each side. Yes, that's right. So two and three quarter inches. I'm just going to gently use my bone folder to make a score mark. So that's one side. Two and three quarters on the other side and then I also need to make a pencil mark at the five and a half inch mark top and bottom so I'm going to lay this down and just going to make a little pencil mark at the top and a little pencil mark at the bottom okay so that's the paper ready I also need a piece of coordinating cardstock. I'm using the lovely Blackberry Bliss and I need that to be exactly the same measurements. I need that to be five and a half inches by 11 inches. Just trim that down. And then I also need to score that at two and three quarter inches from both ends. So as before, get that to two and three quarters I just realized actually I could run my bone folder along that line there makes it a little bit easier and probably more accurate as well and run that down there hope you're all having a lovely weekend so far today I've been on uh, a bit of a walk which was fun um, and I think I've got another walk planned a little bit later and I've also been out and cut my grass in between the it looked like it was going to rain but it didn't actually rain so yeah having a having a nice day and also having a turf out in my craft room uh, I've got a lot of old stuff hanging around in here from years and years ago some of it and um, I feel like it's all going to fall down on top of me if I don't do something soon so I'm actually having a bit of a turf out and a clear out some of it I'm sure I'll sell some of it I'll give away um, but I'm hoping to find new homes for it I don't really want to put it in the bin so I've now made the um, external gatefold part of my card. Now I'm going to make the explosion part of the card which I'm going to make from this lovely designer series paper. So I'm just going to burnish the score lines that I'd already made so they were two and three quarter inches from each side and now what I'm going to do I'm going to do sort of a little bit of an origami fold now. The lines that I marked at five and a half inches I'm going to match up corner to mark corner to mark on both sides so if I just line that up along there in the middle there and then I'm just going to run my bone folder along to reinforce that crease I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side so I want to run that along and reinforce my crease and then I'm also going to turn that round and do exactly the same thing on the other side. All will become apparent, honestly, bear with me. <laughs> so that's that one. And then also 
on the other side. So that's all of those crease lines burnished. Now, what we've got here is this, this paper will now want to start folding itself up like this because of all the lines we've put in it. So I'm going to let it fold up like that and carry on giving it a really good burnish to make sure all of those creases are really, really well formed. Now to stick this into our card base, so I'll just give you a, a little sort of demonstration of now of how this, go, this is going to work when it's all glued in. So it's going to open like that. So to stick this into our card base, we need to put glue on the back and glue on each of these triangles. So I'm just going to do the back first and I'm going to use some wet glue to give me a little bit of wiggle room because this is a card that it needs to be quite precise when we've put it together. So I'm going to put it into my um, card panel, sort of uh, vertically like that. And I'm just gonna quickly open out my designer series paper because it should basically meet the back panel because they've both been cut to exactly the same side. So you can start to see now what's going on. Oh, and before I forget, I'm just gonna rub out those pencil marks. So just uh, rub out a little pencil mark at the top, a little pencil mark at the bottom. There we go. So that's got rid of those. So now I need to put some adhesive on these triangles to stick those to the outer edges. So I'm just going to put some more wet glue on both of these triangles. There we go. And I'm going to close the flaps down. Oh, hi, Hilary. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Yes, I'm doing a, something called a gatefold explosion card today. So um, it's a, a nice way to use up pretty paper and also it gives uh, people a bit of a wow factor, I think. So there we go. So there's the, um, the basic mechanism of our card. So now we'll go on to decorating the card. So because it's full of paper on the inside, we do need somewhere to write. So I've got some pieces of our Whisper White cardstock here that I'm going to cut down to the right size. So I'll just grab my trimmer back again and try and uh, look at my instructions and remember uh, how big they need to be. So the inside square needs to be three and a half inches by three and a half inches. So I shall just trim this down. There we go. And so now you can see that this actually folds a nice white mat inside of our card. So I'm going to stick that in with some glue now. Now I'm not, you could stamp a little bit on this centre panel if you want to, but bearing in mind you do need to write your message to the recipient as well. So I'm actually going to leave mine plain. So we just get that sized up so that it's basically in the middle. There you go. So that's that done. And now we need to cut ourselves some panels so that we can decorate the front of the card. And they need to be uh, five and a quarter inches tall. So I'll trim my five and a quarter inches first. And each piece needs to be two and a half inches wide. So I'll just trim myself two two and a half inch pieces, one for either side of the card and uh, just pop the trimmer and the spare pieces to one side. So now I've got two pieces of white cardstock that will mat on the front there and have a little bit of a border. So I'm going to use some of the stamps from the Rooted in Nature stamp set. Um, it's uh, It's been in the annual catalogue for a while. It also has coordinating dies and it's an absolute beauty. You can use it for so many things. The sentiments are really, really lovely. And I'm going to use be strong, be happy, be you today, because I think that's a really lovely life affirming sentiment for people. Hopefully I'm not getting any glare on these stamp sets. Um, 
this stamp set has got um, beautiful images and beautiful sentiments and coordinating dies. It's great for lots of different occasions. It's really, really good for, ma for mail cards. Um, these little conifers down here look absolutely stunning, especially for um, winter cards. Uh, this one here, I don't know, is it maybe a cypress tree? That looks really good over um, one of a, um, a lovely blended ink background, a bit like the one I did with glycerin the other day. So anyway, enough of me waffling, let's do a bit of stamping. So I've picked out some coordinating colours from this paper and they are Blackberry Bliss and Grapefruit Grove. And I'm just going to do some stamping over my cardstock now. The bigger leaf I'm going to do in the lighter colour. So I am literally just going to randomly stamp a few of these leaves on these panels of cardstock. So really it's going to match quite nicely with what's going on inside. And now taking the smaller of the skeleton leaves, I'm going to add a few of those. Oh, aren't these beautiful? Absolutely lovely. Um, so I'm just going to add a few of the skeleton leaves onto our panels and now I'm going to go in with that um, be strong be happy be you sentiment and give that a good inking so I want a nice strong dark colour and I think I'm going to place that sort of over here there we go so that stands out really really well I can just have a little look at these now on the front of my card to see if they if they're going to give me what I want. Yes, I, I'm quite happy with that actually. I think that works really really well. Um, so I'm just going to glue those on now. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my Tombow liquid glue. Tombow is my favourite glue of all the adhesives that Stampin' Up do because um, you've got that little bit of wiggle room, and I always need a little bit of help getting things lined up. It's very rare that I can pop one down. Um, brilliantly first time so just put, pop some glue on the other one and stick that on the front there we go so that's today's card finished so can look quite a complicated design but when you know how it's really not that difficult so be strong be happy be you lovely sentiment to take us into next week um, all of the supplies that I've used are available in my online shop uh, which you can click on shop now at the top of my Facebook page um, and I hope you have a go at trying this lovely design um, I think it's really really fun it's got a real wow factor and um, I'd look forward to seeing your creations so please share them with me thanks bye bye oh thank you Lisa I've just spotted your comment <laughs>